I think there's much more um, movement now than there has been in, you know, at all uh, in the past. And I, I do think so. I think there's, um, there's evidence of success in a lot of places um, in, in these models and they're being studied and, and copied. And to the extent, I know I certainly, you know, try as much as I can to sort of bring people together and have these discussions and talk about how do we create success. And, and from my perspective, it's really, um, it's really about the partnerships. It's really about cultivating a level of trust and respect that's been sorely lacking in, you know, this whole space for um, for a long time. So I do I do see change. I do see more movement um, than I've seen before. I, I think it's I think it is slow, and I think um, it's important that the health plans begin to sort of come into the space. Um, and I see that happening um, more than I did before, for sure. So the, the two things um, that were mentioned, right, uh, the, higher, the new technology, the quick um, sort of approvals and new drugs certainly make, it, make oncology a more challenging um, uh, set of, of diagnoses to, to model than some others. But again, um, you know, being able to sort of um, design a model around oncology or really any other chronic disease requires the same sorts of things that, um, that are required in any models, which is, you know, we have to identify what's the qualifying criteria, what actually lands somebody in one of these models, um, what are we going to look at in terms of time frame, what's day one, is it, um, you know, date of um, diagnosis, is it the first day of chemotherapy or some other treatment, is it surgery, is it admission, you know, whatever it is, whatever the, the you know, partners agree on, um, and then how long do we measure it. And so. I think as long as there's a construct and um, the stakeholders work together to sort of identify um, what will be measured and how it will be measured, that uh, begins to make it a little more concrete and easy, easier. But getting to the, the question around um, you know, the new technologies and the drugs and how you deal with that, I think that becomes very tricky and there have to be sort of rules about it. Um, and again, it's, uh, there's no sort of hard and fast rule. I think it's what the partners agree on. Um, it could be that certain um, things are carved out for the first period until they become standard and then you rebase um, the financial target based on whatever the new costs are. Um, so I, I, there are, there, I think there are a number of ways that you could address that. Um, and again, it's really, to me, it's about what gets agreed upon between the partners, what makes, what makes most sense.